Hi everyone, my name is Sarvesh Mokkar and I am going to talk about efficient market hypothesis. Now this is one topic which uh, the students either simply mug up and uh, write answers in the exam or many a times they simply don't understand, they don't make the heads and tails out of this concept. So what is efficient market hypothesis? First of all you need to understand what are efficient markets. So efficient markets uh, involve large number of buyers and sellers okay, who are not able to directly influence each other's decisions. Okay, they are that large number of uh, market participants. The second thing is all of them have detailed information about the product and about, uh, about the pricing of the product. Let us talk about stock markets. So let us say uh, if the Reliance stock is trading at rupees 1000 per share. Now all those who are participating in the market who are going to buy and sell the shares of Reliance today, they have their own analysis or they may have some consultant or some asset manager, the fund manager who is going to give them all the relevant information. And based, that, based on that information, they are able to decide whether to buy, whether to hold or whether to sell the shares of Reliance. What does this all mean? It means that my decision, okay, whether to buy a share of Reliance or whether to sell the share of Reliance has been made considering all the available information in the world at any point in time. There is no secret. There is nothing that is hidden about Reliance Company, uh, their future prospects, the current realities, everything is out there for analysis and based on that I have decided to either buy or sell which means the market price rupees 1000 that you see on, on the stock markets today, it reflects all this information, right? There is nothing that is there which is yet to be analyzed okay and then based on that analysis fresh orders of buy and sell will be placed there is nothing like that okay all the information has been discounted let us say uh, the, the the collective uh, theme of uh, of this information okay all the information that is available the collect the collective sentiment is positive what happens when the collective sentiment is positive? There will be more of buy orders, there will be higher demand and this higher demand immediately results in higher prices. So this 1000 rupees that you see uh, for, for the Reliance share reflects this positive sentiment. Okay? Any new information that comes up, now we don't know what the new information will be. It can be positive or negative. If it is positive instantly, instantly is the keyword instantly the market responds to that and there would be some buying and the share price would go up. If it's a negative uh, sentiment or the negative news that is coming up then instantly there will be a selling pressure and the prices will drop. <clears throat> so efficient market simply means there are no hidden secrets remaining with respect to that particular asset, that particular share and based on all this, uh, the collective information about that asset, about that share the pricing has already considered all that information. Okay, so this is the strongest form of efficient markets. Now, in the real world, do we always experience this strong form of efficient markets? The answer is no. Human beings, being human beings, there will always be there will always be some inefficiencies involved. Uh, uh, in, in, the, in the pricing of assets. So this particular hypothesis, now this is an hypothesis, this is not a theory, okay, Hy it is an hypothesis because it is still uh, in the stage of development. We have, we have not arrived at uh, a final conclusion about efficiency of markets because it's, it's that dynamic. So what is this hypothesis about? This hypothesis says that there are three variants of market efficiencies. One is the weak form. Okay, at one extreme we have the weak form, at another extreme we have the strongest form. So, so I was discussing strongest form. So what is the weak form? The weak form of market efficiency says that although 
the market participants the investors they are aware of all the publicly available information what are the what is the publicly available information uh, it would be uh, the financial statements the pnl the balance sheet or uh, or any press releases you know or any news that is floating in the media so all of this is known to an average investor or their fund managers but there are pockets of information which somehow the market has ignored like say for example if i'm walking down the stairs of my building and i come across a 2000 rupees note what is the probability that i will find that 2000 rupees note on the stairs and i will pick it up okay now if i say that uh, well the probability is almost zero or there is there is not there is no possibility that i will come across a 2000 rupees note on on the stairs of my on the staircase of my building because somebody must have already seen it somebody must have already picked it up so there is no chance that i will be able to enjoy a windfall gain okay so that would mean that that the market is very efficient okay but it is very much likely in the real world that uh, i simply walk down the stairs of my building and i, I see a 2000 rupees note lying there and nobody is watching it nobody is aware of it right so this is an inefficient form okay or we can say weak form of efficiency what happens in weak form of efficiency is that although most of the times people are aware of the information but there is some information accidentally we never know why it happens but i will say accidentally uh, people have ignored it okay because of whatever reasons because of uh, some psychological biases or because of xyz reasons okay people have ignored that that particular pocket of information if i have an access to that information then i will be able to make money or i'll be able to benefit myself out of that pocket of information this information is not a secret information it's already available out there right that 2000 rupees note is already there or lying on the ground but people are not noticing it so this is a weak form of efficiency so if there is some information which is in the public domain which is in the financial statements and, and if i am able to access it first and the foremost then i will be able to benefit okay so weak form of efficiency a uh, weak form of emh claims that if i have an access to such pockets of information and the information is already out there in the public domain i will be able to make profits from the stock markets or uh, or the movements in the stock prices this is the weak form extreme form the strongest form which i discussed earlier well you don't have any scope because all the available information the publicly available the secret information the insiders information everything has been reflected in the stock prices any new information which can be completely random we don't know whether the new information will be a positive news or a negative news we don't know okay and when that news comes immediately the the the, the market participants would react to it and immediately it will be reflected in the stock prices which means i will never be able to make money by investing in stock markets because i don't know where the prices will go yes if i gamble on it if i gamble on the new information now for example i don't know whether the new information will be positive or negative but i i simply speculate on it i simply say okay i, I just uh, toss a coin and if, if head comes it's it would be a positive information and if it's a positive information i'll buy the stock and if really a positive information comes some positive news come up then i will make profits which means gambling and luck these are the only two things that can help me to make profits if at all in case of strong form of market efficiency in weak form i can i can make profits if i have access to some pockets of information which the public hasn't noticed yet now there is something in between which is called as the semi strong so the semi strong uh, uh, emh theory says that the publicly available information already discounted in the share stock prices there is there is nothing hidden about the publicly uh, available information but there is some information which we call as the insiders information if i have an access to that information first and the foremost 
okay if i'm first in grabbing that information then and then only i have chances of making profits in the stock market now yes there are shades of illegality to it we all know what is insider trading uh, but this is what the concept is all about if you have access to the insider's information okay which no uh, nobody else uh, from the public has then there is a chance that i benefit from uh, from having that information and i can make profit in the stock market so basically to summarize we have three variants of emh the weak form on one extreme the the strongest form the strong form on another extremes and in midway we have the semi strong weak form says we can make profits in the stock market if we are able to grab information which the public hasn't noticed yet the strongest form says that no matter how much information you have the publicly available the secret information insider information everything has been uh, reflected and everything has been discounted in the current share price and you can never make profits in the stock markets otherwise um, than through luck okay and we have something in between that is the semi strong the semi strong says that you can make profits in the stock markets if you are able to have an access to some secret information which nobody else has yet access to so my dear students uh, this is relevant for your advanced financial management paper i hope this will help you and uh, i'll come up with some uh, some more interesting concepts from your paper in in uh, in the next few videos thank you so much